Hi everyone, and welcome to AutoCAD. My name is Ari, and I'm an AEC Technical Specialist with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to be learning about the Layer Properties Manager and how layers work. We can access our layers by clicking on the Layer Properties Manager. It's found under the Home tab and in the Layers panel. My layer properties are currently turned on because there's a blue highlight behind the icon. So I can turn them off and then turn them back on if the window was auto-hiding and I couldn't find where they were. I can make sure that my window doesn't auto-hide by clicking on this button right here. Now we can see a list of all the different layers that are in our DWG. And we can create a new layer by selecting one of the layers that we want to make a copy of and then click on New Layer. Let's call this Test Layer. It kept the same color, line type, and all other settings that the L1 layer currently has. The second option is to create a layer that's frozen in all viewports. This is very useful if you're creating a layer that you want to use in model space as guidelines, but you don't want it to be visible in your viewports and layouts, and you don't want it to print. The third option allows us to delete the currently selected layer. And the fourth one allows us to turn the currently selected layer as the current one. So right now the test layer is not the current layer because there is not a check mark next to it. The L1 layer is the current layer. So we can select the test layer and then select set current. And now there's a check mark next to it. So let's now auto hide this window again. And if I create a line, this line is going to be made under the test layer with all of its properties. Let's look at some more functions for layers. We can find them in our layers panel. This first one allows us to turn off the layer of a selected object. So we can select the function, then select an object. Because this object is in the current layer, AutoCAD is going to prompt us whether we still want to turn it on or off. In this case, we can say yes. Now the layer is turned off. If we need to turn on all layers, then we can click on this function, turn all layers on. The next function is isolate. So we can click on it, and then we can select the center lines, for example, and then press Enter. And now only the center lines are visible, and all other layers are turned off. When we're done, we can unisolate by clicking on this function below it. So unisolate is right here. This next function is freeze. So we can, instead of turning off layers, we can freeze them. So we're going to select the function, and we can select our center lines. And we don't need to press enter, we can continue to select multiple layers if we want to, and they'll just freeze automatically. When we're done, we can thaw all layers, which is basically turning them all on, except that it's not the same as turning them on with the light bulb. So when we click on this, all layers that were previously thawed are turned on. It looks like we had some layers that were turned off that have to do with the stairway railing, and so now we've now unthawed them. This next function, is the lock function, and this allows us to lock specific layers, so we can click on it and lock this layer. Now it's dimmed out, and when we mouse over it, the lock icon appears next to our cursor. So we can't really select it properly, and we cannot make any modifications to this object because it is locked. If we need to, then we can unlock specific objects. So we're going to click on the unlock button, click on this line once again, and now it is unlocked. So the only way to unlock an a object is to use the unlock function. You can't just select it accidentally. This next function is to make a layer current, just like we did in the Layer Properties Manager. And this last one is very useful. It allows us to match a layer of an object. So how it works is you select match layer first. You select an object, for example, this line right here, and you want this to look like another object and to be on the same layer. So in this case, we want this line to be the same layer as this one right here. So we select it first, and then we select uh, press enter, and then we select the second line, and it automatically changes it to be on that layer. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial on layers. Stay tuned for another tutorial on layer states. Once again, my name is Ari. I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.